welcome to ACTN The Voice. I'm here, I'm Reverend Valerie Ramkilawan from the Christ Approved Revival Tabernacle. I'm here on the station every Wednesday, every first Wednesday of the month from 10 to 30 and last Thursday of the month. Come on, invite somebody. Somebody need to come alive again. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord is coming right into your homes. You are there. You are going through some sort of situation. Come on, you can smile again. God is able to make a way. Those people who are there want to give Give up. It's Christmas time. It's a good season. But yet many people, you know, you don't have a lot of things around you. But what I want to tell you today, you can invite Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Maybe you don't know him, but what? listen, he's interested in knowing you today. He is interested in just coming into your homes and, and teaching you and standing there with you and being a part of your life. Come on, somebody need to smile again. The word of the Lord is coming even now into your homes, wherever you you are in your workplace wherever you are you can tune on right now call somebody come on call somebody and tell them the word of the lord is coming into your homes in your workplace in jesus name and i'm reading from the amplified bible the word of god is taken from first kings chapter 17. i don't know how many of you know about this word but i know that god wants to really work in some life today hallelujah the word of god says elijah the tishbite of the temporary resident of gilgad said to ahab as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew or rain these years, but according to my word. Come on, you're in a place and, and hear what the word of God as a child of God. And I'm not only speaking to children of God today. There are people that are not saved, who do not know Jesus. Remember, you're special. Remember, you might not be doing what I'm doing. You might not be in church today. But listen, I still want you to, to really know that God loves you where ever you are out there hallelujah and the word of the lord came to him saying my god go from here and turn east and hide yourself by the brook sherat east of the jordan you shall drink of the brook you shall drink of the brook and i have commanded the ravens to feed you there my god imagine a, a child of god going to be fed by ravens and listen some of you you're, you're not saved and you don't even know where a meal of food is coming from. But hear what? I have good word for you today. Wherever God takes you, whoever have to give you a meal of food, he's going to raise you. He's going to use that people mightily. Whoever the people are, whoever he's about to, to release into your hands, son and daughters out there that are hurting, that are going through some painful time. Maybe there's not a meal in your home as I brought this word. But God is like telling you, listen, you got to get up and go to a certain place i'm sending you that i'll feed you but some of you might say god you ravens going to feed me hear yeah, what god is capable of using anyone to bless you today hallelujah he's able to use anyone to bless you today my god so the, the man of god did according to the word he went and he dwelt by the brook sherat east of the jordan and the raven the six says and the raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and he drank of the brook imagine even in that hard time he got bread and flesh Maybe he was accustomed to his roti, his ham, his, his good rice, his all sort of good drinks. But here it is, he have to be, he have to step aside and go and eat what the ravens were about to feed him. And some of you, because of your disobedience, you might not want to go in that place. But hear what? If God says to go, if he uses someone to say, listen, boy, listen, Joshua, you go into that place. I'm about to feed you. You're about to get a meal that you have never eaten. I don't know. If if uh, my God, if Elijah have ever eaten this food before, but it's the first time that that, that probably he he's just eaten bread and flesh. And the flesh speaks about the meat and the bread speaks about the word. And maybe God wanted to just do something in Elijah's life. Hallelujah. And some of us are in a place where we cannot get everything we want to eat, but God is doing something different. My God. And after a while, he was being fed with bread and flesh. And after a while, verse 7 says, the brook dried up. The brook dried. There was no more food. There was nothing else. There no water. There was no rain in the land. 
And I know in Trinidad, in the world, and wherever we are right now, people are going through a hard time. But God is about to turn it around. He's about to, to pour the rain. He's about to bless his people. He's about to make a way. But we got to walk in obedience. Again, I say, you might not be a child of God, but God wants to love you today. Come on. I'm speaking to the world people out there. I'm speaking to those who are not even Christian, who don't even have a relationship with God. You have been going through some really, really hard times some hurting times but I want to tell you that God is here for you listen he's making a way there are doors that are about to open the word of the Lord came to him in verse 8 and it says arise come on arise go to Zarephath which belonged to Scythian and dwell there behold I have commanded a widow there to provide for you so he arose and he went to Zarephath but she came, when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks. You see, God was already preparing something. And today God is preparing something for somebody who is going through. He may not know it, but it's already there. He called to her and he said, he was thirsty. He said, listen, bring me a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And verse 11 says, and as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. My God, imagine all these things that, my God, that she was, you know, he had to really listen to what this woman, my God, this man had to really go. And this woman had to listen to all that he was asking for. And I mean, a woman who didn't really have much, she didn't have left much, but my God, listen what she said, verse 11, sorry, verse 12. And she said, as the Lord your God live, I have not a loaf bake but only a handful of meal in the jar and a little oil, oh my God, a little oil in the bottle. Huh. See, I'm gathering two sticks that I may go in and bake it for me and my son that we may eat and <laughs> that we may eat it and die. My God, listen where this woman have reached. The oil was just a little bit. The, bre the, the flour was just a little bit. Just one meal could have been made out of that. But God, but God, he is a miracle working God. You're out there and hard times have come. Hard times is in your home. Christmas is right there around the corner, right, brother? It's not much grocery in the cupboard. No ham, no, nothing to drink. But I have word in my next program, which will be the last Wednesday of this month, Entity, I'll continue this word, but I really want to encourage somebody. It's Christmas time and it's hard time, but God is still feeding you. You see, Elijah was being fed by the ravens and he got bread and flesh. And somebody is about to eat of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Come on, if I was there, I would smile because listen, you could have been starved into death. But somebody's life is about to come into being in the name of Jesus. If you are there and you're, you're really seeking God to help you and you don't even know God today, I invite you to come to know him. Hallelujah. And this blessing is not just for children of God, it's for all of us. My God, it's for all of you today. Do do feel as though that you're not, you don't belong. I want to tell you that you're a kingdom child. God created you to be his child today. Come on, smile right where you are right now. I'm going to pray. I'm going to decree a word upon you today, right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, for all those who are tuned on right now that are seeking you, my God, those who are going through some difficult times, in the name of Jesus, I'm decreeing God, even like Elijah, God, that they will be obedient. They will walk into that place. They will step out. And God, they are going to be fed in your name. Hallelujah. My God, they may have all the clothes, but no food. They may have all the food, but no clothes. But today I decree your anointing upon that child. I decree your anointing upon that man. I decree, God, that that household is going to be saved. Salvation is going to come. And you, God, you're going to make a way. Hallelujah. Come and you can call these numbers just after this program. The numbers for prayer are 734 or seven three nine seven six one six. Come on. I'm Reverend Valerie Ramkalawan from the Christ Approved Revival Tabernacle. I bring you greetings, the greetings in the name of Jesus. 
I bless you. I thank God for you today. I want to tell you that God is in total control. You know, our services are on Sunday morning. We are there from nine in the morning. Hallelujah. We are also there, our deliverance service on Tuesday morning at 10. And we also have a prayer time on Wednesday evening from six to seven. Listen, I want to tell you, I love you. I'm grateful to be a part of this program. Listen, I, I, when I come here, I just want to pour my heart out. Uh, those who cannot smile again, come on. Let that smile come again. Let your light shine. Come on, let the light of the living God just come upon you right now. Come on, God will be even feeding you that bread and flesh to fill you for your purpose that you're about to step into. Hallelujah, because bread, the bread speaks about the word of the Lord and the flesh speaks about the meat that is filling you where God is about to make them. The brooks may have dried, but God is making a way. There's another trip that you're about to take. There's another step that, ha, that you're about to step into right now. Come on. You might be crying where you are without anything, but God is about to provide a meal. And when he provides, listen, no man can reproach you, right? Because when God blesses you, no man can curse what God has blessed today. Hallelujah. I bless you in the wonderful name of Jesus. I pray that you have a blessed season. Come on. Come on. You, you know, Christmas is not about eating and drinking alone, but it's about coming into your calling, coming into your purpose, making somebody happy. Come on, maybe you can empty those cupboards right now. The cupboards are so filled that you can take out some stuff and go give to somebody who is in need. Maybe God is speaking to you right now. You're filled with everything and there's a home that there's nothing, that the brook have become dry. Come on, if God is speaking to you, you go ahead and take those things out. Take your clothing out. Take all that he has given to you and bless someone in Jesus mighty name because listen when you be obedient this morning you're there and you don't have much but you can still bless someone come on come on somebody if this word you know have I've have spoken to you through this word today you can you can do something new in your life and your breakthrough is going to come you need a breakthrough you need God to bless you you need the brooks to be filled again you, and you need the anointing to come upon you. Come on, you can thank God even now. Lift up your hands and say, God, I thank you. I praise you. I love you. I'm not a child of God, but you know what? I'm blessed. I don't care what no man say, I'm blessed today in Jesus' mighty name. And I'm, I know that God is really speaking to your hearts, speaking to your minds, and speaking to your spirit. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. Thank you, Lord.